రెండేళ్లుగా డిజిటలైజేషన్ భారీగా పెరిగిందన్నారు ఐటీ శాఖ ప్రిన్సిపల్ సెక్రటరీ జయేష్ రంజన్ ఒక హైదరాబాద్ లోనే వెయ్యికి పైగా కిరాణా స్టోర్లు డిజిటలైజేషన్ అయ్యాయని చెప్పారు డిజిటల్ లిటరసీపై గ్రామీణ ప్రాంతాల్లో మీ సేవ ఆధ్వర్యంలో శిక్షణ తరగతులు నిర్వహిస్తున్నామని తెలిపారు సైబర్ క్రైమ్ ని అడ్డుకునేందుకు కొత్త ఆలోచనలతో వచ్చే స్టార్టప్ లకి చేయూత అందిస్తున్నామన్నారు జయేష్ రంజన్ ఆజాదీ కా అమృత్ ఉత్సవాల్లో భాగంగా తెలంగాణ సైబర్ క్రైమ్ కోఆర్డినేషన్ సెంటర్ హైదరాబాద్ గచ్చబౌలి ఐఎస్బీలో సైబర్ సేఫ్టీ అండ్ నేషనల్ సెక్యూరిటీపై నిర్వహించిన సెమినార్ లో ఆయన పాల్గొన్నారు is one of the best solutions to guard against these kind of uh, menace which as i said is happening as a very adverse consequence of digitalization but apart from creating awareness in the it department we also take a few more responsibilities one of the responsibilities create products and solutions which takes care of such uh, such kind of crimes we are uh, encouraging lots of uh, private companies to come to hyderabad set up their development teams here work on creating products and solutions we are also encouraging startups there are large number of young entrepreneurs who have inclination to do creative work socially useful work we are motivating as many of them as possible to get into this area of cyber crime and come up with useful products and solutions in fact my colleague uh, dr shriram is here he will be speaking later telangana government and the data security council of india have set up a center of excellence on cyber security and uh, some of the work to encourage startups to encourage innovation in the areas of cyber security is happening uh, through the center of excellence cyber security and national security is something which uh, all of us have to be aware and we have to be very cautious in our approach towards whatever we do in digital cyber space i would like to borrow an uh, thing from a great inventor charles kettering he was instrumental in the evolution of the modern automobile mobile phone scooters they have become a part of our life there's no way when you, you see our children all kids playing games on the mobile device or on computers you tell them today is going to be a no technology day and you have to keep away your devices for some time during the day and keep part in outdoor activities and then you see that none of them would be interested is it not for the decades we have got used to taking the phenomenal advances of this advances in it and without realizing